For those of you who want to use a different program, you could use canva.com. Um, you can see how it's spelled, C-A-N-V-A.com. Um, it's a design program. When it pops up, sign in as a student with your school, Google, and then it'll give you free access. Um, when you do this, so basically come and do create new design. And then you want custom dimensions. Um, make sure it defaults to pixels. So make sure your inches, I'm gonna just do a simple five by seven. So I'm gonna create a design. It's gonna give me a blank design over here. And it's gonna give me some options. Like it'll give me plenty of little template options. If I wanna do a template, um, I'm gonna start by doing a background. So I'm gonna come here to background. Again, it's got a whole series of backgrounds. As you do this, one thing you wanna look for though, is make sure you're choosing ones Let's say free. If it's got a crown that is technically a part of their selling package. So they'll try and sell you those. Um, just so if you wanted to do the free ones, you can do some great things. Again, you also have up the top if you want to do different like colors, those kind of things. If you click up here, you can set the color. Um, if you want to upload things, you can upload like stickers. Any image is a PNG you can upload and then put into the design. So again, right now I've set a background. I'm going to add a photo over the top. So since I'm making a Mother's Day card, I'm going to look for flowers. And again, if you want to, once you have it there, you can always edit and move anytime you need to. If you want to add text, you can put it in as headers. These create like little type boxes. If you want to just go in and take one of their templates, it'll lay the template on top of itself. And then if you click, you should be able to delete out the parts and add in your own. And again, as you do this, if you highlight, usually you'll have a top bar so you can always go through and make adjustments if you need to. So there's if you want to use one of the templates. And again, you do have some other choices. You also have options of elements. So these can be shapes, these can be images. Some of them are animated. So you do have options if you want to put in other things with it. If you see the crown though, be careful because that's going to charge you. So again, right now, avoid things with the crown or anything that doesn't say free. Again, once you get it where you want it, go up to publish. If you're just going to download it and then email it, I would turn this into a JPEG and send it down. Otherwise, if you are going to print it, turn it to PDF print and then hit download. So there's another program you can use. This one is a little more scripted, but it does give you some other options.